Hello gamers, it's Safkitty99 and today we are in Duskwood and we have a few quests so we've got um, Rotting Horrors at Tranquil Gardens, a couple of quests at the Rotting Orchard, Torn Notes and Nightbane Shadows uh, and we'll leave the ones a bit further afield for later. I think we'll probably head to this one first and we'll check that there's no more quests in town first. I've got my hearthstone and I have just soulstone myself. I'll probably forget to redo the soulstone later as it's something that I tend to forget unless I start dying. And of course it's always run out by the time I uh, remember it right. So, it doesn't look like there's any more quests at the moment, so... Here we are, level 42. So we can fly over here to quickly get to where we need to be. Right, so the rotting horrors are these zombies. Now, I have been playing um, the Pandaria remix and it's been quite an interesting experience actually. When I first started I was levelling with my friend, um, hence the main reason that I didn't tr um, try to record um, footage for you all because um, I wanted to interact with my friend and just kind of more or less let them experience Pandaria because um, Pandaria is something that they sort of played through but didn't didn't play as much as I did. I absolutely loved Pandaria and both my friend didn't um, the first time around but the second time around my friend has absolutely adored it so that's proved to be a really good thing and um, the funny thing is my friend started on a demon hunter which is his favourite class anyway in um, Dragonfly and he's really good as a tank so that's always a great thing and it also if you do dungeons and things it gets you fast queues and things so that's always fun to level with someone like that and I was doing a paladin so yeah um, Pandaria Remix has ended up being a little bit of a zerg fest if you're doing um, dungeons and raids and uh, being on the um, so-called wheelchair class, one of the slowest ones in the game, um, I've had to stack speed gems and um, flat movement speed things and I still sometimes just can't keep up and it's, it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Playing with a demon hunter which is one of the most mobile classes, it, it's really like night and day over how fast you can move. Um, and the Demon Hunter got going really fast. They got great gems early on, their damage ramped. Um, whereas I kept getting the, what felt like really weak things. Um, and it was, wasn't until I was mid 45-ish before I actually got some of the gems that started to actually pop the damage a bit and it, and it suddenly started to get a little bit better. Up until that point, I was really struggling. And if I had leveled alone, I might have given up and left before I got to that point. So, um, yeah, because it was billed as this great big fun event, quickly levelling, and it, it wasn't quick levelling, <laughs> you could definitely level quicker in Dragonflight, um, it wasn't fast levelling, it didn't feel overpowered, Hello. they promised it overpowered, it didn't feel overpowered, it was a huge well. struggle till I got to like level 45 and started to get some of what I would class as the better gems like brittle and slay and things that actually felt like they were making a difference so until that point I was just like oh my gosh what's going on this is not what they build it as at all um, and then as I got bigger and bigger level wise it just felt weaker and weaker and weaker it, it just wasn't fun for quite a long time and then when we hit 70, it was like, we got one shot by everything. <laughs> in, uh, we went into dungeons and the level 20s were staying alive and soloing the bosses and all the level 70s were one shot and dead. And it just felt so wrong. Um, I'm glad they've done a lot of um, bug fixes and changed a lot of things because it's so much more fun now than when it started. And I do wonder how many people tried it right at the beginning, felt like I did, and uh, gave up. Because to be fair, I probably would have given up if I hadn't been levelling with my friend. Probably before I'd even reached level 25. 
as I say, it didn't pick up till after 45, and then it, it went downhill again uh, until way after we were level 70. So um, it, it was a really weird levelling time. It really, really was. Uh, but things have changed a lot now. I've started a, a new, like, level 10 and did a few like dungeons and scenarios on them and it seemed to be the leveling is a lot faster on that so what i thought is that during the week when i don't have a quiet house to actually speak to you all is i might try a bit of a dual side by side leveling thing there won't be any commentary on the videos one of them will be a character that is purely leveled through dungeons and raids um, as soon as it gets away from getting the cloak at the beginning and um, getting off the gunship and stuff which might be one two quests and then we'll fly straight to the monastery area where the first of the time dragon bazaars is infinite dragons and we will um, just do the daily quests and the daily first time bonuses for scenarios, dungeons, raids, depending on what we can pick up at the time. And we will level one person that way and then a second person we will do purely by doing questing I need to so that we can first. take a look at a couple of the start zones. I'm hoping that we do two, maybe three zones and they'll be leveled up. So I'm probably, uh, do you know, I don't think we'll probably have time to do every zone, um, though it would be nice to do them for, for fun purposes. I have already done them for fun purposes on my, my main character, my paladin, and um, just get them to 70 doing it that way. A, to show you how much longer it's taking to do it by questing than it seems to be doing by going through dungeons and raids and things. And you know I'm not the person that does lots of dungeons and lots of raids and things I prefer to do things slowly and quietly and the, the dungeon raid thing is a bit of a zerg fest but it's kind of also absolutely hilarious because there have been some dungeons and raids and things where I just run like crazy and it's kind of a game to see if you can actually hit mobs before they die and not get locked out of boss rooms so <laughs> it's really crazy absolutely crazy so um, it could be a really fun weird experience but like i said there won't be commentary on these um two leveling things so i'm just telling you ahead of time um so that you know that <laughs> uh, but i just think it might be a bit fun and it's not meant to be in the slightest bit serious uh, it's just meant to be a lot of fun and to be fair i've had an awful lot of fun in the Pandaria remix and I would definitely recommend having a go if you haven't already. But first character, get them all the way to level 70, get your cloaks, achievements, the maximum power infusion thing, I think it's level 12, um, because that then gives your alternate characters, if you lo level them, um, the maximum 100% experience bonus on the cape when they s first start. So definitely get that done before you start doing the vlogs and I think the quickest way is probably to just log them once a day, do the dungeon scenario and raid quests that are available daily and get the first time bonus um, rewards from the scenario dungeon and raid. You know like if, if you do the, if here look you did a, do a random dungeon here in the live game you'll get some gold and some experience. In the remix you get um, different rewards and for the doing your first dun random dungeon, your first heroic dungeon, your first scenario, your first heroic scenario, your first piece of any raid wing every day, the raids reset every day, you get rewards. So you do as many of those as you can, your first time clears and the three dailies if you can do them. You won't be able to do the raid one until you hit level 25 because that's when the first raid opens. Um, so, but just do that and then log them off and don't hassle about it and come back whatever the next day you can is and you'll have an alt or two or three depending on how much time you've got and what new alts you want a uh, long time before Warwithin. Um, 
so there's like 72 days left on the remix so that's plenty of time um, so if you want any alts definitely give it a go um, it's much more chill than trying to follow like a fast leveling route through Dragonflight though if you'd already know the fast leveling routes you can probably still do it faster on Dragonflight if you already know the routes so that's up to you but to be honest it's just a little bit of something different and I'm really really glad that Blizzard are having a go at doing something different yes they've made a load of mistakes with this one but it's the first one they've done and I get the feeling that it was a small team that did it they've learned a lot of things from it I hope and um, I look forward to them doing something like this with one of the other expansions when there's some downtime or maybe just before the next um, big main expansion launches in that like season 4 quiet end of season end of expansion time that would be a really cool time to do more of these remixes um, and maybe they need a little bit more testing and time before it comes out next time but I, it was it's been an awful lot of fun I've really had a lot of fun so yeah if you've not had a go I really recommend having a go but be aware that your, your power levels are gonna vary greatly um, as you level up you're gonna start to feel weaker and weaker and weaker as a noodle and if you I get unlucky with which gems you get you'll feel less powerful and um, it's fun have a go so yeah that's my plan so now i can start thinking about what i'm actually doing here rather than going on autopilot and risking dying which it's great that i'm on a warlock because i don't die <laughs> but yeah if you've been playing um pandaria remix make comments on this video or one of the pandaria ones and uh, tell me how you have felt about it have you had fun have you had problems with the um, leveling curve with the the weakness going up and down what gems have you enjoyed the most which ones do you think are absolutely amazing i i think visually i like that life bloom one that like puts three flowers around you and if you stand in it you get healed i really like the spell effect on that one but my favorites have to be brittle and slay because they just like give this big satisfying pop when they go off like this visual boom poof poof sort of thing on screen and I, I really like that though to be fair I also like the hailstorm because the lightning falling out the sky yeah I've been having fun it's different and it's fun and it's it's it is really nice to have something different um right at the end of the expansion just as a fun thing and to get a few rewards guess what I've managed to finally get the Shah of Anger mount by saving up my bronze, hoarding it, and getting the mount. So, yay me! I'm so happy about that because um, it's one of the ones I've wanted that mount ever since Miss Pandaria was out the first time. That's a long time, isn't it? And I've never got it. And I, I'm just, I was just, I, as soon as I saw that was on, I was like, Yep, I'm playing it. If I only do it for that, I'm playing it just for that. Just to get the Shara of Anger Mount. If I do nothing else, that's what I want. <laughs> and so I've managed to do that. So that makes me very, very happy. So yeah, it's fun. Right, so I've just turned myself around. See, look at that. My trackball has had a, a little bit of a... I did put a new battery in my trackball, so it should not be acting up anymore it was acting up so i put a new battery in because i figured that was what it was if it keeps acting up maybe i need a new one oh. trackballs are a lot harder to get than mice what can i do for you because i use a trackball not a mouse on my uh, computer they're, they're a little bit harder to get and they're a lot more expensive so i really don't like to uh, i tend to get one as a present every christmas so that i've always got a new one every year I'm only halfway through the year. If it breaks now, that would be really sad. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, maybe maybe my new battery's a bit dodgy. But we'll see. We'll see. If it goes fine from now, see it's just around. user error, not trackball error. Right, I'm going to have a little drink because I've done too much talking. And do you know what? I didn't even look how long um, I've been recording either. <laughs> right, let's make a note of what time it is now. Right, okay. So it's about quarter to twelve here. Oh, sorry, gulping in front of you. Um, right. Travel. So we'll run, we'll run a few more quests, we'll at least another 15 minutes, just to make sure I haven't um, 
That is the only quest, yes. That's the only quest, yes. Right, so we have got... Night being vile, night being tainted. Oh, that's the cave, isn't it? And the journal page is inside the cave. Right, let's go do that. Oh, I'm spent to talent points. Ooh, what, sh what have we got? What shall we do? Oh, let's do flashpoint. I'm kind of tempted to make another warlock on uh, Pandaria, but I don't need another warlock. I've got too many warlocks. I've got five warlocks. I don't need more warlocks. Kitty, you do not need another warlock. No warlocks. Um, what are we actually missing? I'm not even sure what we're missing. I don't think. I think we might have one of everything now on both the Horde and the Alliance. So I don't think we're actually missing anything. So it's kind of a, what do I not have? too many duplicates of because I, oh, I've just gone past. See, too busy talking, not busy paying attention to what I'm trying to do. Right. There we go. See, I'm in a very good mood. Very talkative today. Me as a very, very talkative person isn't normal, is it? It's, it's kind of unusual. Right. Are we supposed to, is it this one I'm supposed to be in? What does this say? Not being tainted. Yeah, this is not the right, um, yeah, this is not the right cave, though it's got a little a dot like there should be one or two, maybe, of what we were looking for, but I really want to be, oh, it's in the, it's the behind of the spot cave, whoa, <laughs> two, ah, there we go, right, let's, let's head into the cave, where's the cave gone, we're going away from the cave, look at that, but there's the cave, see, this is where we wanted to be, see? I don't have a target. Luckily my minion's better at the job than I am. <laughs> minion's gonna say, I don't like working for you anymore. Get something first. I need a target. We're not going to have a um, snoring cat in the background of the video today either. He's decided that it's nice weather and he's going to go outside in the sunshine. So he's sleeping in the garden, in the sunshine. Now my new concern is, can cats get sunburn and is he going to be in pain later? So I'll have to keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't stay out there and bake for too long. And there, should get the notes, yes. Right, now we come out of the cave. And now we know how many we need, rather than getting two lots of eight and then realising we haven't been in the cave and we haven't done that part of the quest. Ta-da! See, I did something in the right order. Yay! Be proud of me. So what level are we now? 43, yeah. Oh, they're respawning already. Interesting. Oh, look, I'm all grey. <laughs> right, we need... We only need the vial now. There's a vial. We might have to fight the tainted one now. I think they were fighting the vial. There's a vial. The ones running back and forth seem to be the vials then, yeah. We need another four, so three more for this, yeah.
target. So what is this then? Worgen taint. Time between melee and ranged attacks reduced by 20%. Oh, it just slows us down. Oh no, casting speed is increased by 20. Oh, so it's good for casters. Hmm. Okay, it's one of those kiss curse things depending on what turn class you are. So being a caster is actually an advantage here. Oh, for whole in one quest. Oh. <laughs> it's nice though to have little flavour things like that. It's like one of my big questions is always how come fire spells still work underwater? I mean, I know it's game mechanics and, and they can't gimp just the fire, especially when they've got specific fire mage specs and warlocks use a lot of fire that you would um, just disadvantage specific classes and things but they did do they used to do that in um, classic and then they realized it was it was unpopular i guess but it it always does seem a little odd when you're underwater and your fireballs still go through i think that's that's really quite hilarious Things disbelief it is dis Be suspend your disbelief because it is just magic bring kelo's note to jonathan kevin is he in Light town or is he out of town? He might be out of town. Is he out of town? Oh no, I think he is here somewhere. Right, we need to be inside the town hall. Oh yes, we had what a can I do for Oh, that's the page just got one. from him, wasn't it? A wand. Quite See a nice wand, actually. Take the legend of Starvin back to Tobias. See you later. Man. Inside there. Hey there. For the alliance. Vigilante. See you later. Right, so that's the end of that quest chain specifically. And then I think we need to be in this building. Oops. Turning the other oh, oh no, maybe not this building, maybe further up the hill. Further up the hill. Further up the hill. See, I knew there were quests further up the hill. Device. Ain't you a chipper looking one? We are bound by a common enemy. I can't thank you enough. I had hoped for this to be a joyous reunion, but the more I learn, the less glad I am to have asked. But I must know. Watch your back. Bring the Mist Mantle family ring to Madam Eve. This can't be my brother was strong willed, but such vileness, such sickness and violent evil. Yes, yeah, so his, his brother's Let basically. The light of the new moon now. guide you. And question. Oh, some of the trainers are up there, aren't they? Ah, now we go into this building. See, I thought we entered this building. Oh wait, we've got what shall we? Do we want the dark pact or is this one? Amplify curse. Hmm. Amplify curse might be quite nice. What have we got here? Yeah, mortal coil, horrifies, and of terror. That can be useful, but it's quite situational. I can't think of it. So cool. Mm, Why do we want to go down here? Where, do, where am I aiming for? I never liked Burning Rush because it, you just, I don't like to see my life disappear. <laughs> I know a lot of people really love it, but oh, I just don't know. I don't know what to go for. I'm going to go for Amplify Curse, I think. I'm not sure it's the best one. But I don't know what, 
I'm not sure that that's a good one. If I take that off though. Hmm, what should we take? is difficult, you know. It's difficult. I just really want to go further down, but I need more points to go further down, and I don't really want to spend the points up here, because a lot of these are all like utility that I don't feel that I'm going to use a lot while I'm leveling and I, it just feels bad to spend the points in something that I'm just not going to use I'm going to take the horrify because do you know it's the most likely to be used to me while we're leveling though that can cause you even more trouble because if you horrify a load of mobs into another a load of other mobs then you just end up in a bigger problem than you started with so need help be careful safe travels use the mr mantle family family ring at mr mantle my oh this is going to summon well. the organ brother isn't it to face the, the brother who has been looking for his long lost brother. Like a poor guy's fallen into the... Oops, I put something. Fallen into the Wargun curse. So now we have Wargun's as our friends. It doesn't feel like quite so much of a curse anymore, does it? Right, use the ring. This guy used to be super scary. Right, here's the... Oh no, he's undead! He's not a wargan! Oh, why did I think he was a wargan? I thought he was a wargan. He's not, he's undead. <gasps> oh! That's because we had all the wargan at the, um... Cave, isn't it? My ring! Who holds my family ring? Tilor, is that you? Tobias! Tell me it's not true, brother. Tell me you didn't die a murderer. It's all true, brother. Every word. You doubt it. Oh, the good guys, the... I knew there was a war gun. The good guys are war gun. So I was half right. See how long it is since I've done these quests, gosh. I think my brain's getting old. I don't remember everything, but I sort of half remember it, see? That the one who killed people was the... an undead. Hmm. You see, brother, we're not so different, Tobias. No! So now he's upset with himself. <laughs> see, revenge can make you do things you don't think you should do. And you probably shouldn't. So think very carefully and never act Any in friend anger or Rain rashness. Is a friend of mine. Master Harris may have been right. I would have been better to leave the past behind. I've got a new life now. Whether it's that of a monster or a man is up to me. Yes, it is up to you. You choose. You can make mistakes and do things bad, but you can still change regardless. As for you, I cannot thank you enough for your assistance. Regardless of the outcome, please take this with my thanks. You Slip wouldn't off. want to see me, but I'm Part angry. of the pack. I've been trying to keep my true self hidden from the people of Darkshire. They seem to react poorly to Wargan. There are more of us here, though, beyond the city. The companions I first travelled here with searched the woods for wild wargan. They believe some of them, ones with telltale signs, can still be returned to sanity. I'm not quite ready to rejoin them. Please send word to Apprentice Fess at the crossroads west of town that I'll be staying in Darkshire a little while longer. Speak to Apprentice Fess at the crossroads west of Darkshire in Darkscourt. Farewell. Right, we might be getting to the point where we're moving forward in the location. Let's just check if there's any more at this end. 
I think what we might do is finish the quest at this side of Duskwood and then Greetings. head to the crossroads and further on in the next the episode. Oh. Take this as give Ma Mary the uh, mirror, which was a quest that I thought we all had earlier, right? Can we just fly over the mountain to get to Mary? Yes, we can. Yeah, so in an earlier episode, I think I did say, shouldn't we have a, a mirror to give to Mary? Well, this is the quest for the mirror. It just comes later in the quest chain. Yes, why? I used to own a looking glass. Dark lady the looking glass was one of my finest treasures until the incident. After that happened, I discarded it behind the barn. There was an insane ghoul who used to roam back there. Perhaps he picked it up. Rumour has it the devilish beast resides in the tranquil gardens of the cemetery. Retrieve Mary's looking glass from the insane door. Yeah. I'm not sure it's a good idea uh, to get her a looking glass since she's dead and all that. So, yes, we saw him inside here earlier when we came and did the other quest. And he is still here. Oh. Loss of control effect. I don't know that giving Mary this is gonna be a good idea. Probably not. She's not going to react well. Oh, no, it's not to give it to her. Oh, we don't give it to her. Oh, that's better. That's the nicer way to have the quest, because she just... When you gave her the mirror, she just went completely bonkers. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't like to look at myself looking like that. <laughs> Would you? I wouldn't. No. Well met. I showed Cog the beginnings of our star viewing machine. He was impressed. Did you find a reflective device? Be careful. Most superb. This will work perfectly. Many thanks. So oh, that's a much better use of it, yes. Classy glass. Now there's just one more item needed to complete this device. Cog's blueprint calls for a lens of some sort. The only lens I know of would, that would be large enough would be very difficult to acquire. There's an ogre by the name of Zarkvul who resides in the mound in southern Duskwood. If you can, bring to me his monocle and I will use that as our lens. Wait, is it? No. <laughs> I was just going to say, it can't be what he's using as a belly plate, surely. He must have a monocle on his face, which I can't see. I hope it's one on his face, not one that's been on his belly. <laughs> Kill Zark Vool in the southern Ogre Mound in Duskwood and collect the oracle. Right, so I think that that does push all of the quests over here so what we'll do I think we'll call it here and then in the next episode we'll go over here we'll see what quests they've got I think they've got quests for here and then we've got a couple of quests here now so we'll do these quests and these quests uh, in the next episode and then maybe we'll have the episode of that maybe we'll have got to Ravenhill with some of those quests over there so let's go log off in the in and I'll sort out my inventory and stuff so you're not stuck with all the boring stuff so hope you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one from softkitty99 goodbye and happy gaming